It's been a long wait, but Gino's back, and today it's a family favourite that he's making. Risotto. 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 OK. This is, seriously, it's a forgotten recipe. Mm. It's a, uh, nobody does risotto with tomato sauce. You're eating it now, because when you think about a risotto, you think about something that is clear in colour, where you can see all the spinach. The reason why you're the risotto with tomato sauce is to use leftover tomato sauce from the day before. So mm. my mother or my grandmother, they used to do... In the old days, they used to do big batches of rice, right? But this, oh. is, this is absolutely stunning. How can a recipe like this die out? I don't understand. I don't understand. Do... You know, I, I try to put this in the, on the restaurant menu, for example. I can tell you that you sell all the other risotto, but soon you think risotto with tomato sauce, people, they're not comfortable mm -hmm. with it because they don't know. So this is what I wanted to bring it's recipes really like good. this back. How simple. You really have uh, an onion here that is gently frying to olive oil. Then we got chicken. You can use chicken breast, chicken thigh. You could use pieces of pork or pieces of veal or pieces of whatever really meat will do. And funny enough, tasting this, having tasted the pressure cooker risotto, mm. I can absolutely taste no what it means. You can. Because it's that crunch, slight mm. al dente under your teeth when you bite into it, and it's, a, it's different. But it that is, is the experience mm. of the risotto. As I was saying, it's the same experience when I eat fish and chips, the crispiness mm. of the butter with the, with the chips. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, you can't take that on away. We can kind of make it healthy, sir, but we can't call it that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my point before. But, um, OK, risotto. So we got the red onion, red onion um, gently frying, and then now is the most important thing, the toasting of the rice. Why is it important toasting the rice? Because then it makes the grain separates and it keeps the al dente bite when you do ah, it. Okay. okay, very important. See what I'm doing? I'm actually, it's like frying the rice I into the oil. Once we've done the toasting of the rice, goes in the chicken. See, the thing with risotto, again, many people say, yeah, but you need to be there stirring for 18 minutes, 15 minutes. Yes, you need to stir, but it's not like you need to be here all the time. You bit, can though. do. Uh... I love making risotto purely for that, so I can't move. <laughs> I pour myself a glass of wine. A glass I sit of wine there and stir it. Yeah, that's, that's all you it's need. It's like a meditation. Bravo. My plus, I want to say to everybody at home, Ma, what you got to do in your life that you cannot spend 17 minutes to make yourself such a beautiful result? Your life is that busy that you can't spend 17 minutes here. Mind you, if you've got young kids, you can guarantee in those 17 minutes, that's when they're going to want your attention. Yeah. yeah OK, so then why don't we bring the children not too close to the pan, next Clock. to the kitchen, have a nice conversation, how you done with your day, look what mommy or dad is doing, I'm going to put the rice in there, Gino said, ta 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 ta, -ta get them involved. We're going to sort it out two things. Number one, you're going to get a fantastic recipe. Number two, they're going to know who Gino is. So I'll go more forward. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you're going to go and talk with, communicate with your kids better. Oh. <laughs> Already oh. starting with the next generation. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Let's start with the next generations. OK, <laughs> now we fry in olive oil. Yeah. OK, onions, the chicken and the rice. Ora, piano piano, which he means... Slowly, slowly. Bravo. Oh, okay. Me, piano piano, 20 years... Piano piano. Piano piano. Piano piano. Oh, piano. Finally, finally. Yeah, I forgot. One ladle at a time, okay, mm -hmm. we put it in there. But this is when now it comes with the pressure cooker. We need to add alcohol, okay? Are we adding the alcohol before the stock or after? After. Oh. Before. Sorry, after or before? Piano piano. <laughs> uh, no, don't just random the same word. Is it after or before? I'd say add it after. Before. <laughs> no, you said after. Philip, please explain why we add the after. It's before. To burn Sorry, the alcohol. Sorry, why we do it before? I have not a clue. Because in wine, like any other, there is alcohol. Mm -hmm. If I leave the alcohol into the wine, into the pan, it's going to be bitter. Yeah. So that's the way you do it. You put your alcohol first, you put any other liquor into the result. OK. And you let it bubble it away. When you let it bubble, the bubble of what's happened, the alcohol goes away, the flavour of the wine stays yeah. into the pan, OK? And that's why you do always before. Mm -hmm. So you do that for about a minute. What's going to happen, you see, you can smell in the house all the wine. Yep, that's what exactly what happened. You. Once you've done that, now, piano, piano, mm -hmm. one ladle at a time, it goes in, OK? If we put too much stock at the beginning, then it becomes boiled rice. The only thing that you need to be careful at home is as the rice absorbs the stock, you add a little bit more... Yes, you can ask me a question. I'm just asking you a question. Now, you've got an earpiece in? No. No, you don't know how long you've got? 
No, I'm no, just... One, uh, listen, one at half. one point, when you said I got one ready there... No, one and a half minutes. <laughs> you got one and a half minutes. <laughs> Once you've done all these shenanigans, uh, I, you then put the passata in... It's passata. And, oh, it's it gives just passata. passata. Yeah. Yeah. See if tomato, you could use chopped tomato, or you can use the one, the sauce, tomato sauce that you prepared yesterday. It doesn't really matter. Once you've done all that, slowly, slowly cooks. Okay. And then you are left with... Yes, once it's cooked, very simply, you got the one with tomato sauce, like this one. How do we finish this off? We always finish a risotto with uh, uh, cheese, mm -hmm. OK? Which and cheese have you got in here? Because I, I love I'm, it. I'm using pecorino, mm. the Sardinian pecorino. Yeah. Cheese okay. and butter. What's happened when we put the cheese and butter into the rice and you start to stir, this is called mantecatura. Mantecatura. What the mantecatura does, it makes the uh, sauce creamier. And silky. And silky. So, so you don't add any cream, you don't add... The only thing you have to do is to keep stirring, keep stirring, everything melts, everything becomes creamy. 30 seconds. I just want to say in this 30 seconds, make the risotto at home. It's very easy, it's not expensive. If you go leftover, put it in the fridge, a couple of days after, you can make the little rice bowl with breadcrumb, yeah, arancini, and put it in the oven. This is absolutely I love delicious. You. Um, yeah. thank, you. thank you for inviting me back. We'll have you back whenever you like. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>